Hi, this is Brad, and today I'm going to show you how to make a spring uh, in SketchUp. So let's get started with that. I'm going to start by just creating a circle, and uh, and I'm going to make a, a small spring. So I'll make it uh, like a four-inch diameter or four-inch radius, so four enter. So it's a fairly small spring. You can make them as large as you want. Smaller ones, I think, are actually more difficult to make. Now, what I do is um, I cut this in half. So I'm going to tap the space bar to get to my um, select tool. And uh, I need my line tool, so I'll press L. And it's probably best to draw a, a line that is um, parallel to one of your axes. So either the green axis or the red axis over there. So I just kind of line it up. Now I could go to a top view and do it, and that would be fine as well. But um, so I'm going to come over here and let's see if that's look at that. I get my red line click and then I'm going to keep going click. So I have a line there and uh, that's going to be important. So now I'm going to click and drag over the whole thing to select it. And uh, I like to zoom in just a little bit here. <clears throat> and then I will use my move tool. So M and then also I would like to make a duplicate of this. So I will oh, let's make sure. Yeah, it's cut exactly in half. That looks pretty good. So M for move, and then uh, hit, uh, press the control key and let up on it, just so I can get the little plus sign to duplicate. Now I'm going to grab this, and I will click and drag up. And notice that it was like going backwards. And if you can't get it to go up and follow the blue axis, you can always hit your um, up arrow key, and that will um, force it to go on the blue. It will constrain it to the blue axis there. Now looking at my distance down here, uh, if I'm looking at that, I'd like to make it kind of shallow. So just maybe two inches. That looks good. So click. And then I want two of these. So I will type in X2, Enter. And if you'll see, it made uh, two times. What, that's what the X2 is, or I guess I could have typed in 2X as well. All right, so I just need three of these. And now what I'm going to do is go and use my Arc tool and uh, I will click on one side, the far side of that. I'm going to click up here. Notice it snaps up there. Click and then I'm going to drag out here and uh, notice it says half circle. That's pretty good. So I'm going to click there and then I'm going to do the same thing uh, from here. So it goes up there. Look, Just think about how a spring goes. So it goes from up there to up here and I'll do the same thing from here. Click to the opposite side over there, click, and then let's bring it out until it tells me half circle. There it is, half circle and click. All right, so hopefully I got them all just perfect all the way through. That looks actually really good there. So that's gonna bring my, my spring outline, and uh, I'm just gonna delete this stuff. So space bar, click and drag, whoops, the other way. Oh, not that, control Z. <laughs> How about if I use my eraser tool? Erasing, 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 and then erasing, erasing, and erasing. All right, so there I've got my spring, or what's the beginning of my spring. So I'm going to select the whole thing, go to my move tool, M, and uh, let's take this and pull it up. So I'm going to click, oh, I also need to uh, press my control key so that I can duplicate. Click, drag, and just connect it to the top piece there. And I want a bunch of these. So how about I'm going to type in 6x enter. So there you can see it gave me a bunch of these springs all connected. Now it's a little kind of off, but you know that's okay for what we're doing here. All right, so now once again I'm going to go down here kind of to the end. I will use my circle tool again and click on there. Now I need to get it so it's actually facing this way. There you go. I want to see it on that green axis. So I click. And uh, this one, let's see, what do we want to make it to? Now let's do like one, one and a half. How about that? So click and then 1.5, enter. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I need to select the spring, so press my space bar. And then I'll just select all of those, or the other way. Select all of those. And now I will go up to Tools, Follow Me. And then the shape that I would like to follow the line, I will click that. It takes a moment, and boom, there's my spring. So nice fat spring there that I have. 
So if I wanted these pieces to be closer together or further apart, then the, at the beginning when I'm making my circles, I either need to make those closer together or further apart. So just keep that in mind, and, uh, and that's how you make a spring. So good luck, and I uh, hope you learned something.